guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Alana Fauché here. If you're new, welcome. And if you're returning, thank you so much for coming back. Today I wanted to do a what's in my purse. So to start the video off, I'm just going to show you guys which purse I actually use on the daily. I do go for more of a tote purse, something big so that I could just stuff everything in there that I need. But this is what she looks like. It is Michael Kors tote bag. I don't know the actual name of this purse because I have had it for a while. Um, it has two pockets on the side here that go quite deep. I don't actually use the outside pockets unless I really need to. Um, so I'm just open it up and she looks like this in there. As you can see, it's quite empty. I don't carry a lot of things on the daily with me because throughout the day if I'm out shopping, I tend to shove everything in my purse. But I will go ahead and show you guys what else is in here. So I do have the matching wallet with the purse and I will show you what the wallet looks like as well. So it just looks like this. It's Michael Kors as well. Has a zip in the back for your change, which I can't live without. And then you just go ahead and open it. I have my McDonald's sticker in here. And then I just have all my important cards. So it's just like that. This wallet is amazing as well. I love this wallet. And I love how my wallet matches my purse. It's always, I always have to match. It's just like a pet peeve of mine. So anyway, going back into what's in my purse, I really do not have much. Like, as you can see, once the wallet's not in there, there's like nothing in there. So the thing I like about this purse is that there's tons of little pockets on the side. So I have two pockets here and then a zipper. And then I also have two pockets on the other side. And there's no zipper in between. It's just a big open concept in the bag. So let me see what I have in here. I haven't gone through my purse in a minute, so we shall see. So I have one ponytail. And mind you, I did not go through and see what was in my purse before filming this. I literally just picked up my purse and we're doing this live pretty much. So I have a receipt. The receipt is from Walmart for my tablet that I got for Valentine's Day. And then I also have some wet wipes. So I keep these little wet wipes in hand in case I need to get something off of my hands or if there's something that's spilled on me. For whatever reason, I keep these on hand. I also keep them in my car as well, just kind of a habit of that. I like to make sure that I have something to wipe up or clean whatever I may need to. Okay and then I have a bobby pin, one bobby pin, and I have my McDonald's cards for coffee. I don't drink that much coffee but when I do I tend to collect the coffee card so with the stickers so that I can get one free coffee whenever the time comes. I have had these for a while and I just kind of leave them in my bag because if I do reach my seven cards for my free coffee then I'll probably go for it. So I have that and then I also have my Burst Bees Coconut and Pear Chapstick. I always have to keep some type of lip ointment or moisturizing lip balm in my purse. It's either this or the Aquaphor, um, especially right now because we are in winter. It's very cold and our lips get dry and chapped, so I just like to make sure that my lips are staying moisturized or whenever I feel like I need to put something on my lips, I usually reach for this or the Aquaphor, but I have this in my purse today. That's actually usually always in my purse. And then I have more ponytail and bobby pins. I have about four bobby pins and two ponytails so far. And then I also have this little oil blotting tissue. Looks like that. I think I got this one yeah, from Dollarama. I usually pick up the one from Superstore. I like those ones best. So 
it just comes in a little container this just opens up and then what you do is you just take this little sheet like this and then you just blot your face with it and it removes all the oil i'm just actually going to keep this one out because i have already touched it and i don't want to put that back in there so i keep these on hand for pretty much whenever it comes in handy in the summertime especially because that is when I have most of the time my face is either sweating or I get all the oils. Um, I do typically have oily to combination skin so sometimes my skin um, gets very oily very fast but after Accutane my skin has been a mixture but I would say it's more on the drier side to just normal which I'm not complaining about because before I used to have very oily skin so I'm quite happy that I don't have to reach for these as often as I would in the past. And then I have a tampon, usually I keep multiple tampons and pads in there just in case because you never know when you're going to get your period and you always want to be prepared because you just never know when she may come. Um, and then I also have a little photo of my boyfriend which he probably won't want me to show you guys but there's a little photo of him in there and then I have more Boston pizza wet naps wet wipes just in case and then I have what is this some gift cards so I have gift cards to Walmart to Superstore and then I have to Fresh Street Market. My mom actually gave me these. This is why they're in there. Um, and then I have more Walmart gift cards because your girl loves these places. Superstore of Walmart, my favorite. So that was a pretty quick and easy purse tour. Um, what's in my purse. This is how she looks on. I don't know if you can see but super cute and it, I love the size of this purse because I could fit all of my essentials of what I need. Um, clearly you can tell I don't have a disaster purse. I am a quite organized person. I do like to keep things decluttered. Um, it just works better that way for me. You can let me know what you carry in your purse. I'm so curious to know. Are you more decluttered or a clutter bug? Let me know down below in the comments. Hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you would like to see more from me in the near future, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And it also really helps me out. I appreciate it so much. I hope you enjoyed this video. Stay tuned for my next one. I'll see you in the next video.